Welcome to the kitchen after dark. I'm getting a bit hungry. Colin and Blake got me got ten minutes to make me the best food. I'm a judge. Let's get it. As these two buffoons try to cook because they don't know how to at all, I'm gonna go over the rules here. So rules: they have around ten minutes to cook me the best dessert that they possibly can. But what I didn't address was that the ingredients here are extremely um, limited. They have like nothing. We have no groceries. So it's gonna be fun. Along with that, there's also very limited kitchen space. All right, this is Colin's little area that he's uh, got cooking up. What do you? What's your game plan here? All right, so I know how you love protein, and you're making like protein shakes every once in a while. So I'm making some pr a protein cookie dough. Protein cookie dough. How many ingredients you got here? Four ingredients. Dang, that seems tough. Uh, but you don't know how to turn the oven off. Oh my goodness! There we go. See, it's not that hard. All right, now what are you doing? Are you dumb? All right, now we can, <laughs> we got the worst chef ever here. Friend, you know we have gloves. <laughs> Why do you need gloves? To so mash it into. No, She's your hands, game. buddy. All right, now we got the best cook ever here, uh, Blake. Obviously, I'm uh, talk me through the process uh, and what you're making. So first of all, I have no idea what I'm doing. It says chocolate mousse recipe. How? I just chucked hot chocolate on my hand. Wow. But I'm trying to make a chocolate mousse. I got melted chocolate. I'm just following the, the directions. So. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, take me through how you found this recipe and what this recipe actually like calls for. All right, so I searched up on YouTube good easy cookies to make with no flour. <laughs> no flour. Because we don't have any flour, and you have to make cookies with flour. So I was scrolling on YouTube Shorts, and I found this. Four ingredients, all you need it. So you put in um, cookie dough. I meant what? Syrup. You put in peanut butter, um, maple syrup, and protein powder. And then you shake and then add chocolate chips, shake it, mix it up, add more chocolate chips on top. And there you go. Me? All right, Blake, walk me through the recipe here. So the recipe. Um, Ingredients, we need like chocolate, water, <laughs> I'm not going to go through all that. So, basically, I got to pour an egg yolk into the melted chocolate, which I did. I don't know why I turned off the stove. Why is the stove off? I accidentally, none. Holy, my phone is dirty. Can you talk? What? Okay, so, chocolate mousse, we know that. Hey, why are you turning it on? Okay, so, got the mousse, I got to pour egg. Which I did. And then, it's supposed to come together and look like that. Oh, yeah. It looks very good. But, I, also, I've never cooked in my life. Alright, over here we got Kaka. How's it going? That actually looks good. Alright, so, it's... I put it... I, I put a, a lot um, of peanut butter in it. So, he said to recommend almond butter, but we didn't have that. So it, it tastes like peanut butter with chocolate chip. So I put a splash of milk in just to mix it better. Uh -huh. And it it's very look it's pr looking pretty good. Yeah, it's not even looking that bad. Way ahead of Blake okay. right now. Alright guys, packing up the shop right now. I think I, I I honestly I mean it looks like cookie dough. I'm just gonna put it in a fancy bowl just to rack up style points. You know, you know. And that's it for mine.
So I'm just about done my stupid masterpiece, and it's gonna be terrible. All right, guys. So I just like did not follow the recipe. I I added some. I made some adjustments to it. So I tried it. It was taste. I just freezed it for like twenty uh, for like twenty minutes, and then um, it just tasted like peanut butter. So I added some honey in it. Like, one squirt of honey, and then, um, some Nutella I'm gonna add in right now. Now that all the contestants are done cooking, we're just waiting for Blake to chill his, and Colin to polish his up, get it looking good for the judges. It's, I hope they taste good, they probably won't, especially not Blake's. Oh, yeah. But, um, let the judging begin! All right, guys. I my finished product is here. So I added like three, four spoonfuls of Nutella, a little more um, honey in it, just to add like different texture because the peanut butter was really strong. I, I added way too much of that, and the syrup was all out, so I had to use some honey and Nutella. So yeah, here it is. So today, I have prepared a very gooey chocolate mousse uh, with some whipped cream and chocolate chips on top. We needed more time to freeze it, but we didn't have that time. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is what it looks like, Cor. Let's give it a try. What's on the bottom of this? You know, we're not going to get to the bottom of this. Oh, I get it now. Alright. What are you what are you rating it on? Can you tell us that? No. <laughs> 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 Interesting. <laughs> I think you got a piece of egg in it. Alright, uh, get this out of here. Yeah, I know. It's gross. I had bacon eggs. Uh, Alright, next contestant. Chefs, I have prepared to you a five star gourmet meal desserts. Alright. What's it called? It's called the Baconator. <laughs> Alright, here's the baconless baconator. It looks a little bit better. There goes Toby. It looks a little bit better, right, Cor? It looks a bit better than Blake's. A bit bigger. Which is always nice. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I gotta get a bite of Nutella. Tastes good, Chef. <laughs> no. Chef. <laughs> what? I'm apologizing. Too much you better be. Peanut butter. That tastes really good. I like it. You like it? Definitely. Tell us more. Why do you like it? It's on the bottom. I don't know because there's like the, the there's a lot of peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> like no, that goes in the fire. <laughs> Alright, now time for the rankings. Alright, first up, we'll rank Collins. So, for the taste, that's what we'll go first. For the taste, I'm gonna give Collins a solid three out of five stars. It wasn't the worst, just very peanut buttery. The only thing you could have changed was it was really sugary. So maybe a little less syrup more protein powder i don't really know what he could have done with that but those are my thoughts all right now for colin's gameplay which is like how he made his meal how difficult it was of a meal to make and how he handled the task 
handled it pretty well, but um, it was a pretty uh, easy task. He didn't have any like challenges, so he didn't really face anything, you know? So therefore, I'm gonna give him a two out of five stars in the gameplay. For me? Yeah. What? And then finally, for present Colin's presentation. The presentation, the smiley face wasn't really bad, but also it kind of just blended in, so you couldn't really see it throughout all the peanut butter, like smog. I don't even know what you call that, the baconator. But so he's going to get a two, or no, we'll give it a. A three star, or no, two star, yeah, two star, uh, two out of five stars on presentation. All right, now we got Blake's disgusting dish. So for taste, disgusting. It was gross. The only reason that it was decent was because of the chocolate. Obviously, it's not that hard to like get chocolate down, right? You just use a Hershey's bar. So uh, it was a one out of five star on the taste. Now for gameplay. He had a much harder task than Colin, but he didn't execute the task at all. All he did was melt chocolate and put an egg in it and then freeze it for two hours. No, two out of five stars on gameplay, tied with Colin for the gameplay. So it all comes down to this, the presentation. You need a four star, yeah, five stars. Four star ties it here, five star wins it. For presentation, the whipped cream on top. Good, chocolate good. Chip, chocolate chip. It was a very good. Um, Nutella at the bottom. Shut up! It was a very good um, added. Like the whipped cream was good, and then the chocolate chips uh, sprinkled on was also a very good added thing. The Nutella was not part of the presentation, so I can't really count that. But adding it all up. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Three out of five stars on presentation. <laughs> Loses by one point. Get out of here. Let's bring in the champ. Winner of the baconless ba baconator. The baconless baconator. What are your final words? I'm him. Alright, he's the edit. It's one in the morning and he has this much energy, so something's wrong with him. Blake drinks coffee. Doesn't matter. Alright, subscribe, leave a like, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces!